Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool disappearing effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to go ahead and just play the effect, and boom, as you can see right there, I turn into smoke. Now, of course, you've already seen um, this in the intro of the video, but here is the editing breakdown of the entire effect. Now, you probably watched the effect in the intro and probably like, okay, that's a cool small little effect. That was probably pretty simple to put together. And then you look at the timeline, you're like, wait a minute, that's a little more complex um, than I thought. And yeah, it definitely took a little bit of time to kind of put this all together. And it's kind of cool to kind of create a really simple effect yet it takes a lot of time and effort to even create these simple little effects. So the first layer right here is a smoke effect. And that is, I'll go down layer by layer, starting at the top layer and going down to the bottom layer. So this is a little smoke effect. I will try to find the link um, to the download, the download link, and I'll put it down in the description below. But as you can see right here, I just went over here um, to the blend mode and put lighten. Um, if I went and put no put it back to normal, as you can see right here, it would just be a black screen. So I have to put it back, I have to put the blending mode to lighten. As you can see right there, there we go, the smoke effect um, disappears. So you wanna make sure that you put the smoke effect wherever you wanna put it, and then make sure the blending mode, you want the blending mode to be changed um, to lighten. And that's pretty much all you do for the, all you do for the top layer. Now the next layer down below is an adjustment layer. Now the adjustment layer is a title plugin, as you can see right here. Here is where the adjustment layer is right there. So it's just a title plugin. And then I put that on top. I put that on top of the entire the entire video basically to create like color correction. So as you can see right here, click on the adjustment layer. I named it color. And as you can see right here, here is the color wheel. And let's go down and I adjusted a little bit of the color curves. So that's the first part is or the second layer is the adjustment layer right there. Now as you can see right here, here is the next layer. And here's a layer where I basically just stood still and I went like this and I just snapped my fingers. So if you go to the very very last frame right here. Boom, there you go. As you can see, I snapped my fingers. Now I I want to put the enable the audio again right here. As you can see, we'll go ahead and I'll zoom in the timeline as you can see right here. Here is where the snap. Here's where you so I basically just use the audio waveform to help me identify when I want to um, actually cut it. But that's the the, the uh, third layer. So I just went ahead and boom, snap my fingers, and there we go. Pretty simple. Now below it is a freeze frame clean plate. So as you can see right here. This clean plate is the exact same background, um, but without me in it. That's the difference between a clean plate. A clean plate is just simply the background without the subject in it. For example, if I didn't have a clean plate, and I just like snapped my fingers and disappeared, and I didn't have this clean plate below it, the background would just be completely black. So I encourage you to create some kind of a clean plate underneath your layer, um, and just literally, like I said before, just record the background, the entire thing, don't move the camera, don't move the camera at all, just film this clean plate, and then walk into frame and snap your fingers and to create a freeze frame you want to go over here to the, the speed options and head over here to boom to hold you want to press on that obviously it's already a freeze frame so i'm not going to press it but you want to go to the read time option and click on hold now below that right here i just have a like a snap finger uh, sound effect from epidemic sound so you can go ahead and find that sound effect on epidemic sound and then below it i just have a music track also from epidemic sound and that's pretty much it it starts with the first layer which is a smoke layer um, you want to make sure the blend mode is lightened then i put an adjustment layer to put the color correction put another layer of me snapping below it put a freeze frame clean plate for the background a sound effect and then a music track of um, epidemic sound and then i just fade it to black that's my style i like being able to fade it fade it to black that way it's easily easy to transition into the tutorial anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video i know it was a very simple and short little effect but hopefully you still enjoy this video and sometimes it's fun to kind of put together these small simple little easy effects and sometimes by creating these effects maybe down the road you'll get some inspiration to create some really big effects but anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative hopefully this video inspired you to, to, to create something really really um, 
cool. But that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with almost 80 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.